Just leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Welcome back to TKOT, where we talk knowledge over tea. Thanks for tuning in Sometimes. and joining us today, ladies and gents. So uh, we got some three. Uh, we got three important topics that we want to talk about today, or an important topic rather. Um, so three very important characteristics that, that you must learn and implement into your life um, to be completely successful at the things that you try. But that's coming up shortly. First, we're just gonna um, tell you what's been going on a bit about us here, at TKOT. So uh, how's it going there? It's going all right. Yeah. Yeah. You it's want to explain the set to them? We're going through some renovations. You know. Yeah. Busy life. Yeah. Renovations. New location. Yeah. You know. Got stuff in the background. Yeah, it's a fantastic location. TKOT, like and sub. Yeah. Got a bow. Yeah, yeah. Kill shit. And, 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 we, make, and we out here getting paper. You can't forget the homie. Yeah. Look at him. You know what I'm saying? With the Benjis. Look at his pearl, his, 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 uh, what is it called? His forehead. His forehead. forehead. Look at that. Look, 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 look how serious he is about That's making That's a money fold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, you hunt, gather, yeah. right? Exactly. Protect, yeah. and then provide. Yeah. Every man's role. Don't get it twisted. It's by nature. By nature. It's biology. It's biology. Don't be fooled. Yeah. There's a lot of narratives out there that think everything gets handed to you and things are really easy. It's really not. For the average male, the average person who's not born into success and wealth, you must work hard. You must. Yeah, yeah, about that. yeah you must work hard. You must strive. Uh, you must persevere. All right. Absolutely. You most certainly have to. It's part yeah. of our duty. <coughs> That's right. Again, it's biology. That's if right. you don't, you go against the grain. You go against biology. You know what happens to you? You get lost. That's right. Could be get lost in the sauce. That's right. Don't know what you're doing. That's right. You know, fumbling through life. That's right. Which way do I go? I don't know. Yeah. Fumbling on your decisions. That's I don't right. know. That's right. And that's why here at TKOT, you know, the, our main happen, focus yeah. is always to leave a good impression with good advice um, and not just have, you know, content that I is pointless and doesn't really offer anything or solutions to our viewers. This is why um, today's topics um, I th we think is really important. Um, so we've cut that we've had we have several several um, traits that we think are uh, important and necessary for any individual whether it be female male um, young old that you're going to need to be able to succeed in any endeavor that you have in your life and those three traits are as follows consistency persistency mixed with versatility now what do I mean Go ahead, explain right? it to them. Now, what do I mean? I'm going to explain it to you. Give them the sauce. Right? I'm going to explain it to you in a way that everybody can understand. Mm -hmm. So, why are these things important? Well, I'll tell you why. Anything in life that you do, whether it, be, um, a hob whether it be a hobby, your work, your career, a family, you have to have these three traits. you got to be consistent, persistent, and versatile. Yeah. I'm going to break it down. can't have e any of those things you just described there without having those three traits. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. It will fall apart. And, and this is why you have to have <coughs> it in that order as well. Consistency first. Why? Anything that you're doing in life, you always got to ma make sure that it's the same that you did at the, p the time before. Let's say today you went to work, you worked hard, eight hours, right? Tomorrow you do the same thing, eight hours. The next day, same thing, eight hours. The next day, same thing, eight hours. That's what consistency is. You're always doing the same thing at the same pace, same energy. Yeah, you got a routine. You got a routine. Yeah, yeah. That you must implement. Now, the second one. You got to build a habit. Yeah, and, and you can bounce on that, right? Yeah. You got to build a habit. Your yeah, habits are extremely habit. important. Yeah, it's building on a habit. Like going to work consistently, that you built a habit of going to work. Exactly. If you're not going to work all the time, you're um, sometimes to work, I'm sometimes not. Exactly. You're not going to build the habit, and yeah. you're never going to be consistent. And that makes inconsistency. Yeah. And with inconsistency. Jeez, you don't want to be inconsistent. No, you don't, because you're, then you're privy to failing at what you're trying to do. Yeah, absolutely. This is why the second one is extremely important. Persistency. If you're consistent, that means you're being persistent. Yeah. Right? Because persistency is the quality of continued effort. It's trying and trying over and over again until yeah. you succeed. So that's why consistency comes first. Because you've got to be persistent to be consistent. Yeah, you got to keep trying. You got to keep you trying. Keep going. How many times in life have you, have you failed like at patience. something? I got patience written down yeah. here. You got to be consistent also yeah. means you got to be patient. And that's it takes right. time to actually get good at these things. It takes, it takes time. You got to be and patient. And it takes consistency to build patience yeah. and to build persistence. Yep. Yeah. How many times in life would you say you failed at something? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I failed today. All the damn time. I failed today. Yep. You know, I'm going to fail again tomorrow and fail again tonight. Yeah, but you, you got to fail better. Yeah. And if you, when you fail better, you recognize the mistakes that you made before so you can be better at what you're doing in life. I don't care if you want to be a musician, if you want to be a soccer coach, mm -hmm. if you want to be a father, mm -hmm. you want to be a mother, you want to be a God-fearing uh, human being, whatever it is that you're doing in your life, yeah. the narrative that you must always have is to be consistent and persistent. 
The last one on, that I want to bring to the table. You know what's good about that too? Yeah. When being consistent, yeah. is that the world will see that too, and yes. then you can become exactly. reliable. You got it. You got if it. People see you as being consistent. You are now seen as being reliable. Exactly. And man yeah. has to be, be reliable. reliable. That's right. If you got a wife or a shorty say, "Can you do this?" Or even a homie, anybody, anybody can ask yeah. you something right. to do, and then you're like, "No, I can. I can call on this person." That's right. Because he's reliable. That's right. That's right. And it's very important. I'll tell you why that's very important too. What what um what what my brother just said. The reason why that's super important is because when mixed together, your circle will expand. Yeah. And your circle is extremely important mm -hmm. to who you are as a person. Yeah. And if you're consistent and persistent, you're gonna have people around you who are like that. Yeah, don't they have a saying like that? Show me your peers and I'll, and I'll, see I'll tell you, you exactly. I'll tell you who you are. Yeah, it, or show me your company and I'll tell you and I'll show you your future. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. why you must this is why we started this podcast. Is because we felt that there was a gap missing between um, people having the ability to have these type of traits while still having a functioning life. You cannot have both. You can't have you can't have a, a lifestyle of consistency, persistency, and versatility. Yet the rest of your life looks completely opposite. Yeah, you can't it, be living in disorder and and have try to have order. Time. It will not work. And it, most importantly, this is why you have to have your, your circle really small. Now you can have you know people say I have a lot of friends, I have a lot of acquaintances. That's bullshit. That's BS. And I'll tell you why, because you have too much of yourself to be spread around for it to be magnified into that perfection of what you're trying to get. That's why having too many people around. Yeah, having too many people around. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You can have, oh, the yes mans, the no mans, people who have their own um, ways that they live who mm -hmm. aren't consistent and persistent, and that will bleed off onto you. Mm -hmm. I think I think that also, like, you know, especially with like, a lot of people as they grow up, they have a lot of friends in the beginning. Yeah. And as you get older, it starts to whittle that's down. Right, that's more. right, that's right. It's like the natural order of things is like, you're, you should start right. to selectively choose who yeah, that's you right, That's right, that's right, that's right. I don't, yeah, you're not good for me. You're not good for that's me. That's right. To whittle down the people to who are actually aligned with you that's in your right. ideal. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's why even now I look at myself. It's like I got a small circle, man. Yeah. And like I think about it, at our core, we're all kind of the same person. That's Obviously, right. our views that's right. they differ, so we can have a proper discussion. That's right. But at our core, we're all that's right. We're that's all right. similar individuals. Right. And, and you and you're gonna need that. Now, our, what we're trying we're not trying to tell you not to have acquaintances and friends and all these mm -hmm. things. No, what we're trying to do is get you to empower yourself to make yourself better. To make yourself optimi op optimize at the best that you could possibly be. Because they don't teach us these things in school. I'm sorry to say they don't. Mm -mm. When I was going to school, all they were concerned about is if I got a good, if, if I could run around the gym properly, if my math math and algebra was right, and my science. I'll tell you what, to this day, I don't even use math Jeez. like that. No, no, let's be honest. I got a calculator in my pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The average human today, I can guarantee Without you, is not writing no, essays. No trigonometry and stuff like the, that. The, the average human that take that took English class, math, science in school, is not using that on a day to day basis in the function in life. Yeah. So as I tell you, it means the information that we're given throughout a growing up is not necessarily useful. They should have a class teaching us about money. They should have a financial literacy class. Yeah, financial. Literacy. I wish they had a class telling me exactly what to do with a credit card at eighteen or nineteen years old. Yeah, that'd be ideal. Knowing how to invest to get index funds. Mm -hmm. You know, how to buy real estate, how to get your first property, how to buy, renovate, repeat the same thing, uh -huh. have income property, you know, instead of having us, oh, get a job, go to university and get a job, become a drone in, in society. It's wrong. They got to teach you how to change who you are first and make yourself able to, to be capable of having all that um, type of responsibility. Uh -huh. Because I'll tell you right now, being rich and wealthy, like, you know, you see a lot of people on TV, you want, we, all, we all want it. It's not easy. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with it, and if you don't have these th these character traits, oh, you won't keep it. You will not keep it. You probably won't even get there. And I'll tell you why you not keep it. There's many shows out there um, where people have become millionaires from lotteries, and they're broke. Yeah. You have basketball players um, who have millions and they become broke because they aren't taught these things on how to control their assets, their their money, and all these other things. Yeah. They may be consistent in other things of their sports, but in yourself is very important. The last one I want to talk about is being versatile. Versatility. Now, what does versatile mean? The ability to adapt to any different situation. Mm, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Mm. And I'll tell you why <laughs> that came last. Because let's say, for example, I'm going to use a hypothetical scenario. Um, let's say I'm, 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 I'm 16, 17 years old. I, wanna, I, wanna, I start doing landscaping, right? Um, cutting grass. It's my first job, right? Working hard, getting paid. I want to move up in life, though, right? Mm. Well, I'll tell you this. If I'm not consistent with that job and persistent, I'm not going to look outside of that scope of landscaping, and I'll probably be doing that for the rest of my life, right? Yeah. This is why versi being versatile is extremely important. Yeah, like being able to things. change um, what, you, what you're doing to adapt to your needs. So let's say um, you, have, you enter a new setting, right? You no longer want to do landscaping. Okay, well, what do you want to do? You, use your, you don't want to use your hands? Okay, you want to use your brain. Okay, well, 
can you adapt and go to school and go in that atmosphere, yeah. right? Being able to change whatever your narrative is at the time. You have to be a chameleon. Yeah. You have to be a chameleon, yeah, I feel like. Do many you have to, because life yeah. will not always give you things that you, you want yeah. at that time. Yeah, you can't only just be good with your hands. No, you also exactly. have to be able to think. You gotta you be know? able to be a you thinker. You gotta be able to problem solve. Exactly, yeah. take us for example. We're not, and I'll tell you right now, um, we're, I'm not rich by any means. We're not, we're not, we're not rich at all. But as you can see, look at our hustle. We started, we started a podcast. This is our side hustle. We're not making any money off this right now. Uh. No, but it's the consistency and persistency. And this is our versatility coming out because we have the ability to work a day job together. Mm -hmm. We go, we grind, we make our money. After work, we come to the podcast and we get, and we, and we shoot this video, try to help our viewers, our future viewers. And mm -hmm. you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, um, have uh, ha have these characteristics and these traits that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And that's the versatility. This is what I mean by versatility, being yeah. able to do multiple things. Help you develop that. Yeah. You know, you know? These are things that absolutely need to be developed. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they don't teach us these things in school. No. At all. No. You know? Um, they're not even taught that. You're seeking out these kind of... No. These kind of traits. No. Not. No. And they're super Just important. go through life, you know? Think about yeah. the paper. Get your money. You that's know? right. That's, that's right. what I tell you about go that's to right. school. That's right. Don't make your money. That's right. Buy a house. Have a family. But now, that's right. you know... That's right. They don't tell you about anything about really how like how to how do they get that. that exactly. So you know, you a know? lot of times you see how do I set myself up to have the correct mindset to do all the exactly. things you're telling exactly. me to do in life. And that's a really good point. And I'm going to share something. Have you ever seen those uh, captions where you see the guy at Mount Everest? He's at the top. Mm. He just climbed the mountain. Yeah. Woo! Everyone's like, "Yay!" Do you know what it took for that guy to to, to be able to yeah, even no climb no that clue. mountain? How many air tanks? You know how many air like tanks he had to jump? Sleep in a tent, you know how many training? Blowing, yeah, you know sick. how many training hours he had to take no clue. to be able to walk up that mountain yeah. in those sh types of shoes and go through the, all that terrain? Yeah. It wasn't just overnight. Yeah. No, we see the end result and we think, oh, I want that. It's achievable. Yeah. It is. A, but that's, you ha that's a terrible habit. It's have. a terrible yeah. habit. To, to just see like, oh wow, he's there. I, I can, can do that too. I do. It's you not don't like know at all what the journey was. The journey is you don't always, know how many yeah. yo how many sleepless nights, stressed out, hair right. follicles falling out. That's right. You don't know what the journey was. That's all right. you see is the end picture. That's right. Like, wow. And this is why another point I want to bring up. This is why all these things that I just said: consistency, persistence, and versatility. Mm. They have to be combined with one other thing: faith in oneself. Yeah, you because in yourself. without you believing in yourself and believing in something greater than yourself that can get you to achieve these things, you will never have it. It will just be another dream. And that's a fact. Most, pe most things that are successful in life, they happen because someone kept trying and trying and trying and trying and trying. Mm -hmm. And they put enough energy in this side and then boom, it came out that side. Yeah. That's the only way it happened. Nothing happens by magic or just by mistake. Nah, it's a lie. There's only a few cases complete where the guy tried the first thing. Blah! That's right. That's right. I and made it. That's right. And, 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 and also, too, yeah, right. it, it may happen to people, let's say, who are born into wealthy homes. Yeah. Yes, life is much easier for them. It's a very, very small percentage of our society that is born into this. What is it? 1% of people who are millionaires like that? So let's not try to emulate them, but emulate characteristics first. Get these characteristics first and then work on ourselves so you can be able to achieve these things and when you get them, be able to have, keep them and sustain them. So anyways, guys, you know, uh, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. hope you guys like the set, yeah. you know, um, tell, them the three, tell them the three things again. Make sure they stick in your head. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make sure they stick yeah, in your head them, again. Them one more yeah. Time. So, um, the three characteristics that you're going to need to implement in your life. Mm -hmm. Now, remember this, you can't, you're not going to get it perfect. Even I don't get it perfect. Yeah. But I know it's okay important. to mess up. Yes. Like, that's fine. Remember this consistency. Yeah. That just means you keep trying. Persistency means you try and try and try and try and try until you succeed mm -hmm. and being versatile, meaning that no matter what life throws at you, you can always counteract that or have a solution. Yeah. Yeah. Be able to think on your toes. Let's say you're working at McDonald's. It's hard for you. Mm -hmm. I get it. Right? You lose your job. Guess what? Get up. Go get another one. Yeah. Right you know to it. As soon as that job's gone, right to right. making a new resume and That's looking right. for a new one. That's right. And you can use these three things and apply to any factor of your life, mm -hmm. whether it be love, whether it be God, mm -hmm. whether it be children. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Yep. Those three characteristics are they're, they're what we call it stands with time, meaning that a thousand years ago it worked and a thousand years from now it's going to work. Mm -hmm. So remember, guys, thanks, you, thanks, to God, thanks a lot for, t for, t for tuning into our channel. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe yep. to our videos. Yep. Uh, Leave a comment below. That's right. Uh, send us an email if you guys got some topics that you would like us to cover. Also, hit the notification button so that you get Update. updated on all of our mm -hmm. uh, videos that we send out. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Deuce, deuce.